some died alone. Others would die in double, triple, or even multiple executions. The first five men to ride in the electric chair all died at the same time in Texas, just after midnight on August 2nd, 1924. Melvin Johnson was the fifth man. It was usually only a matter of a few months between the time the guilty stood before the judge and heard the death sentence and the time old Sparky snuffed out the life up in Huntsville, Texas. But the inception of the Republic of Texas in 1836, the method of punishing criminals was usually by hanging at the county level, the gallows, a whole different kind of theater. In 1924, the state of Texas took the responsibility for capital punishment and changed the method from hanging to electrocution. The legislator who introduced the law permitting death by electrocution witnessed the death of the first four men. He said he was horrified by the deaths. The execution occurred in rapid succession, described as an orgy of death, resulting in noxious fumes. A short interlude was given to witnesses who were sickened at the odor of burning flesh that filled the room before the final execution. So Melvin Johnson had been married for two years and he was 19 years old. He was married to Julia and he and Julia lived in the same house as Julia's aunt and her husband. Same home, they shared separate bedrooms. Also, I believe her, her second aunt was in an adjoining house on the property. So on Sunday night, Melvin wanted to know where his wife was and he asked her aunt. Her aunt said she's at a friend's. He said, can you go get her? She said, no, I'm not dressed. You go get her. Um, he settled down. He's like, all right. And he went to bed. The following morning on Monday is when some kind of commotion happened and witnesses saw Julia exit the house. She had her washing powders with her to go do her chores. And Melvin came running out after her and he shot her in the back. And then he went up to her, he loaded it again, and he shot her twice. Julia's aunt saw this and just ran to her in horror, screaming, you know, what have you done? And he shot her dead. In the trial, he had said that they tried to rob him, that her aunt had something under her apron. He, he was in fear of his life. The same old kind of criminal story. The electric chair had just come to Texas. So Melvin was the fifth one to be electrocuted and all five, all the first five happened to be African-American. Melvin knew that he did not want to be fried in an electric chair. His original sentence was by death by hanging. And that's what he wanted. He wanted the original sentence to be carried out, but it was switched over and he lost that appeal. Yeah. The crunch, the mounting whine and snarl of the generator. The man's lips peel back, the throat strains for a last desperate cry. The body arches against the restraining straps as the generator whines and snarls again. His features turn purple. Steam and smoke rise from the bald spots on his head and his legs while the sick sweet smell of burned flesh permeates the little room. The generator purrs to a halt. The warden does not move, neither do the guards, but the physician steps forward. He places the stethoscope against the steaming chest, listens intently. He turns to the warden. I pronounce this man dead, he says. The ritual has ended. 